Creating a sub-item starts out just like creating an item. Let's say we're going to create a service sub-item for installation. Go to your lists, item lists, go to the bottom, click items, and new. We're going to choose service item as the type and call it service sub-item. Here is where the differences start. You need to put a check mark next to sub item off, which will enable you to choose from accounts on the chart of accounts. And we said we're creating a sub item for installation. Type in the description, the rate, decide if it's a non taxable or taxable item, and choose the account. We're going to choose the same account as the main account, which is installation. When you save and close, you will see the sub item now under the main item called installation. The perfect example for why you would be creating sub-items is this. Let's say you sell irrigation hoses that come in various sizes and you want to be able to keep the various sizes separated. However, you want to have the ability to run a report for all irrigation hoses regardless of size.